so that's the thing that every entrepreneur or every uh, you know the person who is going to have this business he's you know uh, like on in pakistan we have the you know tea stalls and all that we call it dabas so people like four friends are sitting together and they are very you know optimistic about their idea and going crazy and then they you know uh, at the end of the day they even they are not going to do it or if they are going to do it, they are going to fail this is a, you know 99% failure chances are there reason being because of this optimism because you are quite confident about your idea but you did not reach out to people so as i suggested go for the prepare a questionnaire reach out to your target market and assess their input what they are going to say about your product okay whether you think that it's a solution for any pain point whether it's a it's it's actually a pain point or not or you think it's, it's a pain point okay let's say if you you keep pets right so i don't think so like more than 2 3% people you know around the world keep the pet so 90 but more than 90% it's a very you know specific niche so more than 90% people don't you know consider it as as a pain getting me so you have to understand you have to identify yes. the right niche you need to reach out only 2 3% people who actually keeping the pet you don't need to you know select the sample from all 100% population so you have to target the niche you have to reach out to them offer them the questionnaire give some perk as i told you reach out to the university student and get it filled through them and uh, after getting the input from from all these party like 500 plus inputs gathered then is a sufficient basis even if you are going for any masters or phd program even they are asking you to submit the the the, the minimum sample size is required is 500 because that's the reason you can rely on it okay whether you can extrapolate that sample to the population or not you getting me so is a reliable sample you cannot go for 100 or 200 is not going to represent the population of millions so in this situation you have to go for the research properly research reach out to people spend some money okay make it incent incentivize it and then get the and then do the proof of concept when once you gather all the input then go for the proof of concept whether the product is having the potential to grow or not go for the proof of concept in certain locality in at your workplace uh, in your neighborhood okay or uh, maybe in your friends and family do the proof of concept and the last thing what i suggest you then you have to have uh, after that the mentorship impact as well if you are making any mistake that mentor is going to highlight or identify you so to reach out the talent you have to build a complete you know a uh, complete remote working model as we built in nash perspective so we are you know reaching out to the people who are sitting in maybe nigeria who are sitting in in bangladesh or maybe in europe i we are you know looking for the right you know talent instead focusing on certain area because that that talent is not available that that's one of the option okay but again that needs some investment as we did so but startup usually cannot afford to build such kind of you know more remote based model or you know 100% remote remote based model so for this reason what i suggest you can reach out to the startup studios okay discuss your idea discuss your plan they will evaluate your idea they will incubate you they will accelerate you they have the decent connection they will connect you with the financial funders as well and they will hire a technical resources for you because they already have up and running infrastructure in place okay so you don't need to invest or you know invite people okay i am the startup i am the abc i am the founder and this is my partner my co-founders and uh, but uh, and we are sitting in in in, uh, in in any small place so for that reason you have to uh, reach out to the incubators and i see is one of the example you have to reach out to the startup studios okay they will build whole your business model and if you are business model doesn't have the potential to grow they will tell you right away okay that is not going to pretend is not going to work please discontinue or revamp your product okay so in this situation you have to reach out such kind of strategic partnership that you are going to incubator or you are going to startup studio like nash perspective and then discuss your idea they will help you out in recruiting and bringing uh, you know a quality talent at affordable rates and definitely you are going to retain and for retainership uh, to retain the employee i i i'll suggest to have a uh, employee stock option schemes 
that's a very common esop we call it esop it is uh, employee stock options so this is what you we are going to offer is is a globally prevailing practice as well here you just take out your 5 to 10% of your equity component and and offer to your key uh, uh personnel uh, 